The rich history of Barbados can be seen everywhere on the island. For years, an all-out effort has been made to preserve the past and the Caribbean heritage. The success of this effort can be seen everywhere on the island. In 1966, Barbados peacefully became an independent state, ending over 300 years of British colonization. But English influence and customs remain strong and are a part of everyday life. Since the early day of colonization, the island was geographically sectioned into parishes. Each parish was given a religious name, reflecting the importance that religion played in the development of the island history. Many churches, some dating back to the 17th century, still stand today in their original splendor. In early 1600, Brazilians introduced sugarcane to the British colonialists. The sugar industry flourished, transforming this small island into one of the most important of the British colonies. In the St. Andrew's Parish, you'll come upon a very unusual sight for a Caribbean island, a fully operational Dutch windmill. Windmills were used for the processing of sugarcane. Now a historical landmark, the Morgan Lewis windmill is the last remaining from some 500 that once filled the island landscape. Today, sugar remains one of Barbados's largest industries, second only to tourism. During the years of colonialism, many great houses and mansions were built for the plantation lords and for British noblemen who governed the island. Many of these magnificent structures still stand today in their stately elegance. In addition to historical landmarks, Barbados is also rich with many natural and man-made attractions. The most visited site in the island is the Harrison Cave. This natural phenomenon is the only one of this kind in the entire Caribbean. A 45-minute excursion aboard an electric tram brings visitors to the heart of this underground wonder. The tram winds its way through some breathtaking waterfalls, streams and freshwater pools, revealing one of the most spectacular and most precious of Barbados's natural resources, the abundant supply of pure and fresh water. Minutes from Harrison's Cave is the Welshman's Hall Gully. Declared a national park in 1962, this deep ravine gives visitors a cool place to walk and enjoy a natural display of tropical plants, fruit and spice trees. Unusual formations of stalactites and stalagmites, some as large as four feet in diameter, can be seen along the rocky sides of the ravine. In the parish of St. Joseph, you can enjoy two magnificent botanical gardens the Andromeda Gardens with a spectacular view of the Atlantic Ocean and the Flower Forest near bordering St. Andrews. Both attractions offer visitors acres of spectacular exhibits of plants and flowers from all around the world. Just west of the Morgan Lewis Mill in the parish of St. Peter, there's a place for the entire family to enjoy the Barbados Wildlife Reserve. Visitors can leisurely stroll through this open-air park and enjoy a variety of animal species roaming free in their natural habitat. Most of the animals in the reserve were brought in from around the world. Here, visitors share the walking paths with box turtles, deers, colorful tropical birds and many other species. But the main attraction is the shy and playful green monkey, Barbados' main claim to indigenous wildlife. I sincerely hope that you have enjoyed this tour of Barbados as much as I have. 
and like the friendly people of this island always say, come and hang around heaven for a while. Thank you. 